Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is a specific protein has an 18 residue long alpha helix with the following sequence and here's the sequence and two questions. Question A, how many full turns are in this alpha helix and B, what is the length of the helix in angstroms in the direction of the helix axis. If you study biology or genetics, you can expect one or both of these answers on your exam and it is very easy to solve this problem. Even first grader would be able to do it. You just have to know couple numbers. And the first one, so here is the alpha helix. In order to answer the first question, all you have to know is that per one turn there are 3.6 residues or amino acids. According to our problem, polypeptide chain consists of 18 amino acids. So we have to divide 18 amino acids by number of amino acids per one turn and this is 3.6. So this number here. And we are going to get five full turns. This is an answer to the first question and in order to answer the second question, all you have to know is that the distance between backbone in one full turn is going to be 5.4 angstroms. So 5.4 angstroms. We know that this alpha helix makes five full turns. So now we can find the length of this molecule. So we have to multiply five by 5.4 angstroms per one turn and we are going to get 27 angstroms. This is going to be the length of this molecule of this alpha helix and here is going to be amino terminus which is beginning of this molecule and here is the carboxylic terminus or end of this molecule and the length is going to be 27 Armstrongs. So this is the answer to the second question. So in order to answer this type of questions, you just have to memorize these two numbers, 3.6 residues or amino acids per one turn in alpha helix and 5.4 Armstrongs is the distance between backbone in one turn. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.